I'm Dusty Star from The Love Ranch, and today we are going to be making Island Star Lamb. For this recipe, you will need lamb loin chops, one big potato, two teaspoon cooking oil, half an onion, and make sure they're white, garlic minced, two tablespoon, garlic masala, one and a half teaspoon, turmeric, one and a half teaspoon, crushed red peppers are optional, cilantro chopped, one cup, and salt to taste. Let's get cooking! So for the first step, what we're gonna do is, I got this lamb loin chops here, and I really actually preferred this for the recipe that we're about to cook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna show you guys how to cut this. Um, also do know that these lamb loin chops have bones in them. So you could either keep the bones to the side and with the meat to put it in a pot, because you know bones bring out uh, good flavors. Or you, if you're not a bone eater, just throw it away. So here we go. And we're gonna put this on the cutting board. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to cut this. Okay. You wanna cut around the bones first when you start it off. So you wanna kind of feel where the bone is ending. So for this piece, see where the bone is? You want to cut around it first, and then we'll go from there. I'll show you that step how to do that. So, I'm gonna cut this. So, as you can see, if you can't cut through anymore, you go flip it over and cut down. And you can keep it. Like I said, I prefer to keep it on the side, so I'm just gonna keep it on the side. And now, if you have big pieces like chunks, what you're gonna do is just cut it right in half and add that to the side. And sometimes it's good to leave the meat, a little bit of meat on the bones because, like I said, it brings a lot of more flavor out if you have a little bit of meat on the bones. So as you can see, I'm just cutting it a little dice sized pieces here, or you might as well little cube sizes. With the rest of them. Okay, so now done cutting the meat. And remember, you can keep the bones if you like good, if you want good flavor, or you can throw the bone away. So I'm just gonna drop it in the bowl that to the side and we're gonna move on to the next step. Whoops, there goes the meat. Off the bowl. Alright, so I got the meat on the in the bowl. Put that to the side. Alright, so I am going to now cut the potato since the board is clean. But before I cut it, we gotta peel it. Peeling the potatoes, you guys. You know, I cut or peel my potatoes really weird because sometimes I'll go like this. It's easier for me. And sometimes I'll like go this way, like downwards. But make sure your skin is off for this ingredient because you don't want any skin on your potato at all. All right. Okay. So you got one big potatoes, and also usually you could even add like two potatoes if you want. If you want your curry a little bit more uh, th in a thick paste, uh, but today I prefer to use one because you know I like the curry with the lip that has a little bit more soup base to it. Because you're gonna be putting this over something. So the way to cut your potato, you need it in big, nice chunks. So what you're gonna do is cut this in half. Okay, like this, it's in half. And then you're gonna do this. And then cut just like that. And there you go. So you're gonna chuck some potatoes. And it was that simple. And then what we're gonna do is gonna put this in the in the water. Alright, next step you guys is the cilantro. So we're gonna take a handful of cilantro.
And basically one, a handful is actually a cup. So you're like, your handful of cilantro is going to be a cup. And what I do, we're going to kind of do this. That's a cup right there. All right. And now what we're going to do. Oh, what is this? Take all these pieces out. And we're going to cut them. And then once we cut them, we're going to chop them up. And once we're done with that, we're going to put it in a bowl and kind of rinse it off for just a little and dry it up and dry it out. Or Okay, you want cilantro in this dish. And all you're doing is just chopping them up. And once this is done. No, it's going everywhere. There you guys have it. There's your cilantro is cut. So what we're gonna do is put this in a bowl, kind of rinse it off and get all that dusty stuff off of it and pat it down dry. Okay guys, so we're gonna start cooking our meal now. So what we're gonna do is, I got this big medium sized pot and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the heat up on low, medium heat or medium low, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I'll let the pot heat up just a little bit, okay? Remember, it has to be on medium or medium low, you know, for the oil to warm them up. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna put two teaspoons of cooking oil, vegetable oil, you could do uh, olive oil, whatever you prefer. All right, and here we go. So we got one. Two. You add a little bit more if you want, so I'm just gonna put in two and a half in here, or just put three. Now we're gonna let that heat up. So you're done with that. Okay, I'm rinse this off, oil off real quick, because I'm gonna use this for the other ingredients. And clumsy hands today, you guys. Just today. All right, so while the oil is heating, we're gonna put in a next ingredient in here. For the onions, here's the thing. You could get diced onions already that comes in a package in your local store, grocery store, or you could um, chop up half the onion and make sure they're white onions. So now we're gonna do, since the oil is heated up, I'm gonna put in my onion. And remember, this is half the onion diced. All right. Now for the onions, we're going to let this kind of get a little brown, golden light brown. You don't want it burnt or anything like that. Remember it's on medium low heat, so we're just going to mix this around. As you can see, I'm just doing a stirring here. And we want it to get a little tint to the onions. Um, remember, light golden brown. Just a little, just a little tint. You know, I learned how to cook this dish when I was seven years old. And meat, you know, I like meat, so I like steak, lamb. But when it comes to like my cultural food, this is one of my preferred dishes that I would like to eat. And trust me, when I first learned this process, I messed up every time. And also that for, for those of you who don't know, cooking is like something I like to do, it's my passion, you know. How about the other passions too, but. 
cooking's like my main thing right now. Okay, now since I stirred it, I'm going to wait for it to kind of cook and we'll stir it again. And remember, you want a light golden tint to this onion. Alright, so you guys want to check this out. The onions are light golden brown and this is what I was talking about. So you want a, just a little tint to it. See that color in there? It's nicely like golden. Doesn't really look like onions. Look like fried onions if you ask me. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put in our next step. And the next step will be two spoons. Peens. I can't even talk today, you guys. All right. So usually you could put half like clove garlics in there, but I prefer you know chopped garlic or minced. And we're gonna put two teaspoons of the minced garlic in here. All right. See that? Okay. So now we're turn down the heat just a little bit. Put it on low for right now because you don't want your onions burning all the way. So now what I'm gonna put in next, I'm gonna mix that up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, grab my garam masala. Now the garam masala, you put in one uh, tablespoon, one and a half, okay? So, this is gonna fit, let's do this. So, I'm gonna use this kind of. And it's okay if stuff falls into your pot, that's okay. More flavor is more better, right? All right, so that's one. And... That's a half. One and a half teaspoons. Now I'm gonna put in my turmeric. Turmeric is just, okay, this right here. You don't wanna add too much. So we're only going to add a half a teaspoon in there. All right, here we go. So this is kind of similar to curry powder. Um, Should have opened it. All right, just half a teaspoon, there you go. Now, we're gonna stir this up and then we're gonna go and put our meat in. All right, so we're just gonna now put this back on medium so you could get this all in here. You can already smell the aroma, you guys. All right, mix that up. We're gonna go in with the meat, drop the meat in here. And remember, the meat, I did use the bones in here because it adds more extra flavor. And if you are not the type of person that likes bones in your meat or your dishes, you don't have to, but you know. So we're going to mix this up. And as you can see, the meats are kind of turning a color. And you want it to at least have a color before we go in and put in our next ingredient. Okay, so we're just gonna let this do its thing. And the bones, I'm gonna kind of flip that over where the meat part really is. Kind of get that color as well too. The water is gonna come out of the meat and we're gonna keep those juices flowing in here. And remember, we gotta add the next ingredient so we don't wanna overfill the pot. Because we want the meat to come out real tender and really yummy. Okay. So let this sit. So you basically you want to kind of mix this up and let it sit before you put it in there. You're going to at least like 15, 20 minutes. See that? You want to flip around pieces that needs to color. Let that do its thing. Just a little bit more. So, 
definitely see how the meat came out. There you go. That's what we're looking for. We just want a little color to this. And as you can see, if you look below, that's actually all the water that's coming from the meat. That's really not oil. Because all the more oil and stuff is in the onions. Well, it might be a little bit, but you know. So, so this is done. You can hear it sizzling. It's going. So what we're going to do next, we're going in with our next ingredient, you guys. Okay? Next ingredient is going to be our potatoes that we have cut. And I have this in the water in a strainer. Okay? And what we're going to just do is grab some paper towels because you don't want the water on it. Oops. And we're going to go from there. Grab these. Put it on the napkin. Kind of let it dry it off, pat it down. And we're just going to drop it in here with the meat. And when you put the potatoes in, you want to mix it with the meat and then add just a little bit of water to keep the meat cooking because remember you want it tender and when it comes to this part this part takes a little while until you add in your next ingredient because this is all process you guys meat is just if this meat is not like real rich you know like to make a steak or anything you really want to cook this All right, so as you can see, the meat is going. Onion, all looking good. Garlic is in there. Now we're gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna show you guys how much water to add in here. Basically, if you have a little bowl like this, just grab uh, one bowl and fill it up, put it in there and let it do its thing. Make sure you watch the meat occasionally because you don't want it sticking to the pot because the water will, will get low. Okay, so as you can see, so I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go over here and add this. And we're not gonna add any salt yet, okay? Because you want this meat to cook. Everything else will come at the end. And we're just gonna kind of stir this up just a little, like this. And now we're gonna close the lid. And remember, check it every like maybe, you know, two to five minutes. Because like I said, this type of meat will actually kind of burn to the pot and kind of have the, you want the flames now on medium instead of medium low. You want it right on medium now. Okay? And then we're just gonna let it do a sting a little. occasionally to make sure that you don't um, let the meat or the water get low to where it burns in the pot you do not want that um, I added just a little bit more water because the water was getting a little low because you remember you want to keep the juices in there and you got to add a little water little by little and make sure you watch this like I said occasionally so our next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a little bit of salt just for the taste Okay, so just enough for right now. And you could always add a little bit more in there. And remember, this meat takes a while to cook and you really don't wanna break the potatoes up so you wanna be also very careful when you are stirring cause you just wanna really mess with the meat. That's what you really wanna do and just let the potatoes kinda do its thing. Kind of still hard as you can see. Okay. Mix this up. And like I said, this is a long process. Once this is done, trust me, you guys will enjoy this because I've made this dish a numerous of times and people are just in love with it. 
and they've been asking for this recipe for quite a while now so this is like a family recipe but now I'm going to share with all of you guys and as you can see the water is getting low just a little bit you don't want that so now we're just going to take a little test to make sure salt all right, that is enough salt. I remember the salt taste might kind of go away because you add all that water, even though it does, you know, migrate in it or marinate in it. Excuse me, migrate. I'm thinking of a headache now. Oh my god. So from medium heat, we're gonna take this to medium low now. Right in between, as you guys can see. Now I'll just add a little bit more water, cover it up, and then I'll show you guys the last step. And then, that. All right, so now you can see the meat is tender. The potatoes are broken down. So now what I'm gonna do for the next step is add red pepper flakes. Now remember, this is optional. If you're not into spicy stuff, you don't have to add it, but I like a little bit of hint of mine. So just add a little bit to the pe pepper flakes. All right, now if this thing comes out. So, and you don't have to overdo it with the pepper flakes, but you like pepper flakes, um, just enough to have some type of it hint or, you know, in there, but you could also do it over the dish when you serve and stuff. And now we're just going to mix it in. And now we're going to go in with our cilantro. Okay. Now the cilantro is another main last ingredient that you need. So as you can see, it adds color and it brings a very wonderful flavoring. So you're going to add a couple of that. Okay. And now we're going to mix it and we're going to let this uh, kind of simmer, kind of cook for about like another five, 10 minutes and then we'll be done. Mm, smells good. So as you can see, my potatoes are soft. Okay, the potatoes are broken and you wanna uh, work around the potatoes. You don't wanna really break them because you wanna leave those chunks in there. And like I said, you could use one potato or two. Um, so if you want a thicker paste, you add two. If you want something looser, you just add one so you get more, you know, in there. Now, we're gonna close the lid up. Close this back up with the lid, actually. Let that, put this on low. Since it's already boiling. And give it five minutes, I will say. If you want extra, you could do 10, but we'll give it five minutes. Okay guys, so the dish is done. I'm gonna turn off the stove if I can find it. <laughs> That's done. All right, so here is the finished product, and now I'll put it on the dish. So you could eat this with any type of rice. I have jasmine rice here right now. Um, you could eat it with jasmine white rice, the long grain kind, brown rice, um, boss with or whatever. So, just gonna put it on the dish. Hey everyone, guess what? The meal is done and here is the finished dish. Look how good that looks. Got color to it, your potatoes, the meat. Again, I am Dustin Star from The Love Ranch and this is my recipe to the island star lamb. So enjoy and bon appetit.